my name is Colin Murphy and I'm an intern for Calvert County Natural Resources Division. Today we're going to be talking about insects. Most people when they think of insects think they're yucky and creepy but really if you look closely insects can be quite fascinating. Did you know insects are the largest animal group on earth? That means there's more insects on earth than any other animal. Insects are everywhere. Insects can be found in the park, in the woods, in the city, and even in your own backyard. Insects can be found in the grass, underground, flying, and some insects even swim. Despite all their differences, there are some things that all insects have in common. One, insects are all small. Two, insects all have six legs and three main body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. How many legs do you have? Two? Okay, do you know the song Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes? Okay, let's sing it together. You ready? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, and eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Well, if you were an insect, that song would sound like this. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Eyes and mouth and ten, us two, six legs, and that's an insect for you. Okay, now that you know a little bit about insects, let's jump into story time. This is The Bug Book by Kathy Cranking. What have six wriggly legs, two wiggly antenna, and big googly eyes? Bugs. Bugs crawl, hop, and fly all around us. Come on, let's go find some. Ants are easy to find. There are many more ants in the world than people. Ants live in nests under the ground. They talk to each other by giving off smells. But ants don't have noses like people do. They smell with their antenna. Look, a grasshopper is taking off. Hopping is what grasshoppers do best. They have very strong legs for leaping far or near. How far can you hop? Chomp, 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 munch. This caterpillar is an eating machine. Soon it will do something amazing. It will change into a beautiful butterfly. Is it magic? No. It is just what happens when a caterpillar grows up. Dragonflies are some of the fastest things on four wings. They can zoom forward, backward, and even hover in the mid-air. But you'll rarely see a flea standing still. Boing, boing, they are jumping champs. Turn the page to follow this bouncy flea. Right onto Rover's nose. Fleas jump onto animals, and sometimes people, to suck their blood. A flea's mouth is like a tiny needle. And talking about needles, watch out for a bee's stinger. Bees gather nectar from flowers to make honey. Thanks, bees. The walking stick looks just like a twig. Can you find it hiding here? A spider may look like a bug, but it really isn't. It has eight legs and no antenna, but spiders do like to eat bugs that get caught in their sticky webs. 
Hmm. What kind of snack is the spider trying to catch today? It's a fly. Flies have tricky, sticky feet. They can walk on walls and ceilings without falling. Watch out for the spider web, flies. Ladybugs come in different colors, as you can see. Some have just a few spots. Others have lots and lots. A little ladybug is a big eater. It gobbles up more than 100 tiny bugs each day. A praying mantis can turn its head all the way around to look at you. It also looks around for tasty insects to eat. Then it grabs them with its sharp, spiny legs. A mother praying mantis lays hundreds of eggs. She covers them with foam to keep them safe. When the babies hatch, they are only as long as a grain of rice. Have you ever heard crickets singing at night? Boy crickets sing to girl crickets. They make their song by rubbing their wings together. But fireflies like to talk to each other by flashing lights. The lights say, hey, I'm over here. Bugs are amazing, and they are all around us. To find them, all you have to do is look. All right, now let's go out to the garden and take a closer look, see if we can find some more bugs. All right, here we are in the garden outside the nature center. Let's talk about beetles. A common beetle that you've probably seen in or around your house is the ladybug. Let's take a closer look. Here's one now. So ladybugs have big compound eyes like these and like that. So ladybugs see a bunch of small pictures, unlike us that just see one big picture. Ladybugs have two sets of wings. One set of wings is hidden. They use those wings to fly. The second set of wings is hard. It covers the other wings and acts like armor to protect the ladybugs. A fun fact about ladybugs is that they're predators and they can eat up to 5,000 insects in their lifetime. Hey, look, another bug over here. Let's go check it out. Another insect that you've probably seen before is the ant. Ants can be found all over the world, in every continent except Antarctica. Here's an ant now. Whoa, check that out. So ants have a hard exoskeleton that protects them like a hard hat protects humans. An ant's body is smooth and sleek, so when they're digging their tunnels underground, the dirt doesn't stick to them. A fun fact about ants is that ants are super strong. A single ant can hold up to 50 times its own body weight. Hey. Check, that, check out that colorful bug over there in the flowers. That's the best one yet. Let's go see what that is. Another insect that you might be able to find in your own backyard around some flowers is a butterfly. A butterfly goes through a big change before it actually becomes a butterfly. The first stage of a butterfly's life is the egg. Butterflies lay their eggs on the leaves of plants. Their eggs are small and shaped like ovals, so you gotta look really close to try to see them. The second stage of a butterfly's life is when a larva called a caterpillar emerges from that egg. The third stage of a butterfly's life is when a full-grown caterpillar forms a chrysalis, like this one right here. Inside that chrysalis, the caterpillar is changing into a butterfly. And the fourth stage of a butterfly's life is when that full-grown butterfly emerges from the chrysalis. Like this one right here. A 
butterfly has four sets of wings. Bright colors make them easy to spot in nature. A butterfly uses its wings to get where it needs to go and move from flower to flower. A fun fact about butterflies is that they have an all liquid diet. So their mouth is shaped like a straw, which helps them get nectar from flowers. Here's a fun butterfly craft that you can make at home and take outside to help you find insects. Click the link in the description below the video for instructions on how to make your own butterfly. It's time to wrap things up. Remember, there are more insects in the world than any other animal group. Remember that insects have six legs and three main body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. And now it's your turn to go outside on your own insect hunt with your own butterfly.